This is exactly me. Just without the part that does everything you want. Bye, Mary Hamilton. And hello, Poison Ivy. Uh, hola. Batwoman's trusted doctor is breaking out and breaking bad, and we've got your first look. As we learned in the November 17th episode, Mary was infected by one of Pam Isley's vines and cue the murderous new persona. I actually identify as an eco-terrorist. It's kind of like when Stefan Salvatore flipped his humanity switch on the Vampire Diaries. According to the official description, Mary's no longer happy with her supporting role and she, quote, uses her newfound powers to express her most deep buried opinions and desires regardless of who or what may be in her way. Honestly, that might be the most relatable thing you've ever said. But there's more because Mary, quote, realizes her power bloom to give life to another, Gotham's long lost and most infamous botanist. Best birthday ever. <laughs> Holla. Jane the Virgin alum Bridget Regan is also set to appear this season as Isley, aka the first Poison Ivy. Nicole Kang, who plays Mary, said she was excited to bring the new character to life. Quote, I am most proud that Poison Ivy is an Asian villain whose danger does not stem from her foreignness or her mystique. Instead, we discover her personal motivations alongside those of the OG Poison Ivies and see them intertwine in an organic and powerful way. I am so humbled to be a Korean girl in line behind THE Uma Thurman to play the next live-action Poison Ivy. Why not send Junior home early? Head over to TV Line for more and drop your take on the new Poison Ivy in the comments. For TVLine.com, I'm Keisha Hatchett.